Europe's debt crisis and the effect on the global economy. It's a subject for my next guest. He's here for the hour, Robert Mundell, Nobel laureate and professor of economics at Columbia University. He's widely considered to be the father of the euro. Professor Mundell, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Well, nice to be here. So is Mario Draghi the right person at the right time to lead the European Central Bank? Well, it's hard to find the perfect person. <clears throat> I think Mario is a wonderful character, a wonderful person, very able and in, 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 very superlative in that position. In fact, several years ago, I thought he would be a great candidate for the IMF position, the top position. Uh, so I think that this, uh, uh, I think this is a great appointment. I, if there's any, any worry I have, it's that not that he's going to be too easy, but that he's going to be too tight at a time when we don't want to see uh, the euro, I think, too strong. If it gets too strong, it'll exacerbate the weakness, the deficit uh, of, of those uh, weak uh, uh, countries. Why would he be too tight with uh, with interest rate policy for the euro? Is this to prove his credentials well, well, and validate sense, the yes, fact that he got the appointment? Such a long, a long um, flack about they didn't want uh, Germany didn't want an Italian uh, on on the, in this position because an Italian uh, Italy has has put a big debt. Issue of its own, and the worry that an Italian might be too easy. They might, be, they believe, might be too partisan. I, I, you think? I think it might be. I, I don't think he's going to be too easy. I hope he's not going to use. The, I don't think. Hope he's not going to feel that he has to prove himself because I think he just needs to do the right thing. Use his economic sense, bearing in mind that there's a, a big compromise because you you the the tighter the European Central Bank is and the stronger the euro is, the worse the weak the fiscal position of those the economies is going to be. Is there a tension that exists within Europe because right now Germany, an export powerhouse, has most of its trade inside of Europe. So the euro is pretty good or it doesn't even matter for the Germans. And yet, as you just described, there are the other countries of Europe, such as Greece, that are really feeling the strain of an expensive euro. Yes, well, of course, uh, Germany, Germany has great export markets outside Europe, too, and China, tremendous exports of machine tools to China. That's a very big source of the current strength. Uh, of China, but it's still, uh, you're right, of course, that most of the trade will, will be inside Europe, not, not outside. And the fact is that the demand outside is not going to be cut by a slightly stronger euro because Germany has, over its uh, high-quality machine tools, a, a kind of a monopoly of quality. Uh, now, how do you, in, in your perspective, how did Mario Draghi go from being someone who was not necessarily going to be tapped as the next head of the ECB to getting the support of Chancellor Angela Merkel in Germany? Was it just because Axel Weber, the head uh, of the Bundesbank, <coughs> withdrew his well, that, participation? Well, that was the big, the big thing, and it turned out that that um, um, Axel Weber is a very good candidate, but had taken a position that was really would have been very controversial inside Europe, and it wouldn't have been a good good possibility. So he withdrew, I think, rightly at that point. I, I'm sure he'll come back in some other important position later on. Do you think that this is also a political yeah. issue for the 17-member uh, board of the ECB, that they, they can also agree, all agree for, on something, and that is Mario I, I Draghi? Think, I think they do, and the French strongly supported his, his candidates.